Hey all here, OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Alcatel Go Flip, a phone that's based on Kai OS, which is actually a successor to Firefox OS, but the platform is designed for feature phones as opposed to smart devices. It's aimed primarily at developing countries. So taking a quick look at the design of the Go Flip first, it is made entirely out of plastic. This is a pretty low cost phone. It is the only Kai OS flip phone currently on the market and sells for about $40 MRSP without a contract. Otherwise, in the back, there's a loudspeaker. The front features a 2 megapixel camera. There's no self portrait mirror. There is no LED flash, but it can record 720p HD video. There's also a small color display, which is a little bit on the washed out side, but it shows you notifications, the time and date. You also find on the left hand edge the 3.5mm headphone jack, a lanyard strap, micro USB for charging, and the other side houses a volume rocker and a dedicated key for launching the camera. Taking a look at the screen on the inside, it measures 2.8 inches diagonally, which is a fair size for a flip phone. It's larger than you know devices in the past that we've seen that have this flip form factor, but it's not a touch screen either, so you can't interact with your fingers. There's also no front facing camera inside, so no selfies, unfortunately. Underneath we have the D-pad, which is oversized and very comfortable for text entry just because of how large the individual buttons are. It's also backlit, so it makes it pretty easy to see in darker environments as well. So on the main screen here, we have just the time and date. You can tell that the wallpapers here are pretty similar to what we see on Firefox OS. The muted colors, as well as this theme, and the way that the icons are displayed. Again, do have a good resemblance to the previous Firefox OS phones on the market that we've checked out. So KaiOS does feature all the wireless connectivity options on board, such as Wi-Fi, wi GPS, Bluetooth, but the Alcatel Go Flip does not have built-in NFC, even though KaiOS does support that. We also have a quad-core processor, the Snapdragon 210, coupled with 512 megabytes of RAM. Pretty similar to Android Go phones coming out onto the market. So performance, I expect it to be you know, fairly decent considering this is a flip phone and it's using a quad-core processor, but what I found was it can still be occasionally a little sluggish when navigating through these menus. It's kind of similar to what I found on Firefox OS, which is to say the hardware is perfectly fine, but I think the software isn't as optimized uh, to run quite as quickly as it can be compared to, say, Android. You have access to a browser here, which is based on the same technology as a regular Firefox Fox desktop browser, which is to say it's much more powerful than you'll find on any other flip phone or feature phone. It's able to render pages like YouTube, the New York Times, without too much problems at all, and it's pretty fast, even when you're using, let's say, slower Wi-Fi speeds, as you can see here. However, even though the browser is quite efficient at loading up pages and scrolling as well as interacting with complex sites goes better than expected on you know, a feature phone form factor that doesn't have a touch display, viewing back videos is still far from being enjoyable simply because there is no built-in accelerometer. So for instance, we're playing back this video here, which you can see is you know, playing back very quickly without any stuttering, but I can't rotate the screen. In fact, there's not a separate option that you can find in the menus either, so you're left with uh, essentially this very small space that's used, even though the screen size is technically larger. I can actually go into full screen mode here by tapping on this key, but that really doesn't help too much because it still puts it in this portrait orientation as opposed to horizontal. So, viewing back videos, you get a very small overall screen experience, not great. And closing the flip will pause the a track there, but if you open it up, it basically just resumes it. And by default, the search engine used is going to be Google, so it does work pretty well there. I can use the one and three keys to zoom in and zoom out, so I can tap on the three here to basically zoom into the page further. Here, it's a little bit jumpy, but you can tell that even complex pages like the New York Times will load up and render, again a testament to the browser here. So there's really no problems as far as using the browser to open up YouTube, social media like Twitter, Facebook, mobile sites, weather searches, all work just fine. Now, the biggest limitation of the Go Flip, and the reason why I really can't recommend this phone, is because it doesn't really have anything else beyond that browser. The whole point of KaiOS that makes it smarter than just a regular feature phone is it has an app store, but for whatever reason, the US version of the Go Flip that you can find on AT&T and, and Boost Mobile have removed this app store. Uh, maybe because you know, they're worried about using too much data, not really sure why, but it's not here, and as a result, you're left with basically a web browser 
some basic calling functions and that's it. So that kind of cripples the experience. It's like having an Android phone that you can't download additional apps through the Play Store from. And it wouldn't be a huge deal if you were able to sideload apps, but because KaiOS is such a new platform at the moment, there's nothing available online either. So that's very unfortunate. Uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to check out this phone in the first place was because of KaiOS being in the news recently with Google investing $22 million into the operating system to bring things like Google Search, Google Maps, maybe a YouTube app, to the platform that will come out in future updates and perhaps released in the store. But since again, we don't have access to that, you really can't use those services. One thing I do like about KaiOS as a whole is there's security options, such as the ability to wipe the device if you lose the phone, just by creating an account when you first sign in and then visiting the website and you can use the website to, to erase all the data stored on the phone. It's a, a feature that we see now, of course, with iOS and Android as well, but to find it on a relatively new platform is a nice attention to detail. I can just take images, tapping on options here. I can have a self timer. There's also a grid. Overall picture quality of the Go Flip is actually not good at all. I would say it's definitely one of the worst uh, cameras that I've seen uh, on a phone. Colors tend to be quite muted as well. There's no flash, so it struggles under low light. And again, having only three megapixels is, is quite uh, you know low here in 2018. But again, in a pinch, it does work. And video recording is slightly better just because it does have 720p quality. However, there's no image stabilization, so the shots can still seem a little bit jumpy. The display here, as you can see, is also quite washed out just because it's not an IPS panel. So if you tilt it at the wrong angle, it tends to distort and give you uh, not a very attractive looking palette. So here's a video that I captured just previously using the uh, built-in camcorder here and you can tell that the quality of the footage again quite blurry not excellent but uh, at least the frame rates seem to be decent you can also set up an email on here which works quite well and you can add any email onto this i tried it with gmail as well as with hotmail and didn't have any problems and that's pretty much all phone call quality on the on the device is decent again the microphone seems to do a good job of picking up my voice reception was luckily also quite strong in the seattle region i consistently got around three to four bars in terms of notifications, we do have access to a bar on the side here that I can tap on that will pop up any notices that you may have, such as text, emails, as well as Wi-Fi settings. You can dismiss it and it goes away. And then over here, I also have my speed dial. The calendar app though is pretty well designed in KaiOS, mostly because it can be integrated with other services like Google Calendar. So tapping on options and going down all the way to settings, I'm able to add an account. And from here you can add your Google account and it will actually push notifications. And if there is, I can tap on this and it says there's a Sounders game for instance, uh, in this particular date. Battery life on the Alcatel Go Flip is unfortunately also not as long as what I wanted to see. I think it's partly due to the quad-core processor. It's still going to be a, a little longer than on a standard cell phone, but if you have Wi-Fi always turned on and you do a little bit of web browsing, it definitely will need to be charged every perhaps two days. So that's pretty much it as far as the bulk of the Alcatel Go Flip is concerned. I would say that again, the phone itself is kind of disappointing. WhatsApp, Twitter, as well as some light games can't be downloaded because the store isn't there in the first place. And although you can work around those issues by just using the browser and then going into the desktop version of Facebook, it's still kind of a clunky experience without having that mobile version of the app. So at the end of the day, for $40, I definitely don't think this is the best value that you can find even for an unlocked prepaid handset. Uh, just because at the same cost, you can actually get a real smartphone here in the US. Even though KaiOS is very promising, and I do think there's a lot of potential there, again, this particular device from Alcatel when it comes to the build, as well as the, uh, again, software side of things, is just not you know, quite as impressive as it really should have been.